Have you ever wondered, what's the point of building robots in our own image? Is it to replace us or to expose our own limitations? Well, a major breakthrough just landed and it changes everything. A leading tech giant in China didn't just improve the humanoid robot, they broke the template entirely. They built one with six arms and it's not a gimmick. It's already being deployed to factories with one mission, to outperform human workers not by imitation, but by reinvention. And that's just where the story begins. Because while this robot is stepping onto the factory floor, other creators are launching swarms of flying swords, engineers are building robot app stores, and researchers are testing systems that let you speak objects into existence. The boundary between command and creation is vanishing. Let's dive in. So the headliner, the Myro U from Medea Group. You know Medea, probably for their washing machines, air conditioners. But at the Greater Bay Area New Economy Forum, they unveiled what they're confidently calling a super humanoid, and it completely rethinks the factory floor. Forget the standard two-arm design. The Myro U has six fully actuated bionic limbs. Now, it keeps a human-like head and torso, but that's purely a practical choice, just to slot right into workstations built for people. The company's vice president and CTO, Wei Chang, made the philosophy crystal clear. He said the core value is in moving beyond just imitating our form to achieve a real leap in operational efficiency. Here's the practical magic of it. This robot rolls on a wheeled base that can rotate a full 360 degrees in place. It uses its lower limbs like powerful arms to manage heavy components, while its multiple upper limbs tackle fine assembly and fastening work, all at the same time. It can swap tools in a flash and handle job transitions that would normally need a whole team of people or a bunch of separate, single-purpose machines. And here's the critical part. This is not a lab prototype. This month, the Myro U is rolling into the Medea Wuxi high-end washing machine factory for pilot testing. The company's internal expectation is that it will boost changeover efficiency on that production line by about 30%. This robot is actually the third generation in Medea's development line, and its arrival formalizes a split in their strategy. The Myro series is now their dedicated track for these industrial powerhouses. Meanwhile, a separate line called Mela is in development. Those will be lighter, bipedal robots for commercial and home settings, planned to appear in retail stores by 2026. This move comes from serious groundwork. Medea acquired the major German robotics company KUKA back in 2017, and in recent years they've established government-approved research labs and a dedicated humanoid robot innovation center. They are building an entirely new kind of factory worker. Next, taking a hard pivot from factory floors to something that feels straight out of an epic fantasy film. In China, there's a sword influencer and Guinness World Record holder named Fan Shisan. Earlier this year, he grabbed headlines by building a single, massive, flying hover sword, a blade big enough to potentially stand on, inspired by classic martial arts. It was a marvel. But his latest act? He scaled it up, way up. He's created a swarm of them. In a recent video, you see him raise his hands, and a whole flock of these floating blades lifts into the air in unison. Each sword is essentially a cleverly disguised drone or quadcopter. They have propellers at the tip, at the pommel, and on each side of the crossguard. He controls the entire swarm using motion controls. A gesture of his hand pushes the cloud of swords forward. Another pulls them back, making them shift direction as one fluid entity. The visual is absolutely remarkable, like watching a legendary swordsman command his arsenal from a distance. The engineering wasn't simple. Shisan told People's Daily that the original hover sword took his four-person team nearly two months to crack. Their first design with 20 ducted fans didn't have enough thrust. They finally got the lift they needed by adding four more. Fan Shisan holds the Guinness record for the fastest time to cut five sheets of a four paper in midair, and another for slicing through 10 watermelons the fastest. And his ambition has grown with his project. His new goal, as stated in the video caption, 
is to command a swarm of 10,000 swords as one. It's a mind-bending fusion, ancient weapon iconography brought to life with modern, accessible drone technology. It represents a different, wildly creative, and viral engine of innovation that thrives alongside the industrial labs. Now, let's talk about making these robots useful, because what's a brilliant machine without software? That's the question Unitree Robotics is answering. You know them, they're literally the Chinese unicorn behind those viral backflipping quadrupeds and agile humanoids. Their new move is a platform play, the Unitree Robotics developer platform. They're calling it the world's first humanoid robot app store now. The vision is embodied intelligence in daily life, all accessed through your smartphone. Imagine pulling out your phone to remote control a robot using its camera or browsing a shared library to download a new skill for it, like a Bruce Lee martial arts kata, the classic twist dance, or a graceful ballet sequence. This platform lets developers and users upload, share, and download these training data sets and action routines. Unitree's founder, Wang Xingxing, laid out the roadmap. It starts with these pre-programmed demos, the next phase is generating actions in real time from your instructions. The final stage, potentially as soon as next year, is robots understanding complex voice commands to perform tasks like fetching a glass of water or tidying a room. This is huge for a company known as one of Hangzhou's six little dragons. Unitree is in pre-IPO tutoring, aiming for a star market listing. This is not only about selling incredible hardware, like their H2 robot with its expressive face. They are building the essential ecosystem, the operating layer, that makes humanoid robots truly functional assets. Nevertheless, all this innovation exists within a staggering financial reality. Let's zoom out for a second. In early December, Elon Musk made history as the first person to reach a net worth exceeding $600 billion. That's a six with 11 zeros after it. Good luck fitting that into your calculator screen. According to Forbes, the financial gap between Musk and the world's second richest person is now wider than the gap between his current wealth and the $1 trillion mark. His path to becoming the first trillionaire hinges on SpaceX. A recent tender offer valued the aerospace company at $800 billion. Analysis suggests that if a future SpaceX IPO values the firm at around $1.5 trillion, Musk could hit that trillion dollar threshold as early as 2026. This connects directly to our topic. A foundational pillar of that valuation is a future built on radical automation and advanced robotics, the very sectors where Medea, Unitree, and others are placing their foundational bets. Musk's own projects, from Tesla's Optimus to SpaceX's automated systems, are entrants in the same high stakes race. The monumental capital flowing into this arena is a massive wager. It's a bet that the technological leaps we're seeing will fundamentally redefine global industry. This finally brings us to the research that could stitch all these threads together. At MIT, they've built a system that makes on-demand creation feel almost mundane. They call it speech to reality. Here's how it works. You say something to a robotic arm mounted on a table a simple command like, I want a simple stool. Then you wait about five minutes. In that time, the system uses speech recognition and a large language model to understand you. A 3D generative AI model then drafts a digital design of that stool. Next, a specialized algorithm breaks that design into a build plan using modular components. Think interconnected cubes. And finally, the robotic arm executes the assembly. It's a complete pipeline merging natural language, generative AI, and robotics. The team, led by graduate student Alexander Ichtet Kaya, presented this at the ACM Symposium on Computational Fabrication. They've already produced stools, shelves, chairs, and even decorative items like a dog statue. The vision goes further. They see a future of sustainable, reconfigurable objects. Imagine disassembling a sofa and having a swarm of mobile robots reassemble those same parts into a bed. 
Kaya, inspired by sci-fi like Star Trek's Replicator, calls this co-creating the world around us. The goal is a fundamental shift, moving physical creation from a slow, specialized process to something fast, accessible, and commanded by nothing more than your voice. So, what's the thread here? From six-armed robots to flying swords and voice-built furniture, a new intelligence layer is forming for the physical world. The barrier between command and creation is dissolving. Which of these futures grabs you most? Let me know in the comments. For more on the tech reshaping reality, subscribe. Thanks for watching.